What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to your weekly roundup. And we have finally got a bit of news because we have got V2.1, which is out in the wild, as you guys can see here. So currently the servers are still down at the time of recording, but it should come back online by the time this video is up. Or maybe the servers are just back on right now. Looking like it. Looking like it, boys. It's looking like it just as we're doing this video, but we are going to be covering everything. The live update is in progress. We will cover everything in just a second as we get a first look at V2.1 and we go from there. All right, so first things first, we do have the V2.1 update download size, which is 5 gig on PS5, 44 gig on PS4. I think there's a lot of compression and a lot of optimization stuff that they're doing to the PS4 version. And on Xbox, it's around 18 gig, the same as PC. So they are the, fi the si file sizes. The servers are just after coming online as we click record on this video. So we're going to go through this fairly quick and then head on over to the in-game menu as well. But yeah, they have mentioned a lot of issues that they are still looking to fix obviously um so this was updated this website was updated on the 6th of the 10th um and they just talk about different uh different issues such as when users enter the match room the buttons displayed at the bottom of the screen will be changed to the match room screen so just display only issue and resolved by either selecting a game plan or by any other screen transitions so it's just something small just to be made aware of nothing really to focus on there um they also talk about this update with known issues as well long loading times and frame rate decreases online matches are interrupted and considered void uh, and they just talk about 10,000 gp but into the actual guts of v2.1 uh, we are going to be talking about a lot of new updates where they kind of say that they have been working on a lot of issues they've been like trying to fix a lot of stuff and all this stuff here i'm not going to pay too much atten attention to this because it's just kind of like live update player data issues and stuff like that and then condition rating issues as well um so players condition during the match which is calculated under live update and form is not being calculated correctly they are looking at that and looking to fix all these stuff uh there is a fix on uh today basically the 6th of the 10th so moving on to game plan issues then as well they're just talking about discovered following issues under game plan after creating a new game plan the details are selecting or renaming the game plan will be automatically set as the active game plan so again they're only display only issues Anyway, V2.1 lads, it is available now, as I said, and the servers are now online. We'll check on there in a second. But yeah, this is what they've added. So they've added a friend match mode where users can play dream team matches with friends, mode changes to the med changes to the layout of the top menu, added the number of sub intervals option under match settings. So the default set to five possible substitutions over over three instead. Vida matches will now appear under the match history as well. And then they talk about new licenses, uh, such as the Turkish League. Uh, teams, all the Turkish league clubs, Bordeaux, Atletico, Parniense, Vasco de Gama and the Turkish national team and then the players for all these leagues here and teams that they have added as well as updates, additions to team data, player photos, managers, uh, strips, pitch side advertising, media, backdrops, uh, staff, tabards and corner flags, boots, commentary, balls, goalkeepers, gloves and then right down here at the bottom they talk about gameplay fixes and adjustments. So they talk about implementing adjustments to where true balls are played towards when there are several opposition players nearby implemented adjustments to where true balls are played towards when they're okay so i don't know what that means really but i presume it means that there's better kind of like uh pass choice selection from the ai uh fix the issue where players do not move accordingly to positional inputs when performing a matchup command okay implement adjustments to the positioning of players when performing call for pre pressure against an opponent that is keeping the ball in the flanks players will now position themselves in a way that allow them to intercept the passes with greater ease Okay, implement adjustments so that players will defend oncoming mid-air balls, such as lofted pass and crosses, in a more adequate manner. Nice. Fix the issue where they're appointing a fullback player to defensive. The player may stay in an excessively deep position. Okay, so there's not much to get through there, I don't think. Uh, we will move on to the second page. So most of this stuff here are general fixes applied to mitigate or eliminate the bug shown. Application may crash due to an error. Resume the match with seamless corner. Click the match may resume as the transition graphics are displayed. Um, goalkeepers taking a goal kick. Teammates may obstruct the goalkeeper. Uh, reopening the game plan after setting sub tactic to defensive. We'll see it being changed to offensive. Incorrect commentary data regarding both team. Uh, goal status may be played in certain match modes such as online quick match or free match commentary we mentioned that points gains even though match results are not recorded um 
And they've also talked about the frame rate, frame rate issues in uh, Jewish Stadium when playing matches in the Astika Stadium. They may not appear, the tunnel and stuff may not appear. When playing matches in AS Roma Stadio Olimpico, uh, some stadium graphics may disappear when playing matches with set to day. Uh, when time set to day, the lighting for players with certain hairstyles, hairstyles may become unnatural. Uh, so yeah, there's just a lot of kind of stuff there. Um that is not really non it's non gameplay stuff it's kind of like user interface stuff and uh you know better the actual experience itself and then they also talk about different things such as like loading issues with the menu tour events are designated with league or team bonus type switching displays and game plan will change the background of certain player images um and then it's just all about kind of like languages and stuff like that uh which there's no real mention of the gameplay until it comes down here global improvements various measures were taken to prevent ma manipulation of match results decisions through editing online matches by improper means that had been an issue that had been cre creeping in for the last two weeks from talking to a few streamers and stuff that people were getting void cheated again which was a big issue in pez 16 17 and then a variety of minor adjustments have been made to each mode and to matches with the aim of improving the overall gaming experience so i would like to have seen a deeper dive on the actual gameplay but we won't know until we actually you know play a couple of matches online Line. so we will see but moving across we do have a batch of new players we've got tottenham epics Gascoigne, uh robbie Keane, and van der vaart we've also got the worldwide october uh players as well there's a couple of nice ones in there so you've got foden you've got ben yedder you've got Rumin Rum Rumagnoli, smalling uh balatore musiala gallagher i mean yeah they're just players of the week basically and then we also have a new uh, section here era de Vici, with nominating contract and player contract player transfers with nominating contracts so uh yeah i mean there's there's some decent players in this i would say uh, let me see kunde is there definitely worth a pick up if you're going to get him casemiro i think i have two five stars so i'll probably ooh, renato sanchez is there as well um yeah, I mean, there's some decent players there for free, man. If you do have, yeah, there's some nice players there for free. If you do have the the nominating contracts, as ever, you will be able to get a free one. I'll do a video on that as well. Load of videos coming today, and then the Eredivisie as well. You have the Eredivisie there as well with a couple of players that you can get for nominating contracts between five and three stars. So we will go into a deep dive on those quite soon. They've also changed a couple of things. We do have the Bruno card as well in the pack. Uh, which we have here they've kind of changed the layout of stuff so Bruno has now been added as well as a couple of more teams oh man they've added a new Barca Bayern Munich United Arsenal okay they've added pretty much the new squad updates uh, for all these teams with new cards that's very interesting very interesting no legend card but they do have the players here Wow, they're after adding a lot of new cards, man. A lot of new cards. For 900 GP as well, that is not bad. Is Anthony in this? Let me see, Cristiano Ronaldo is the, the main one here. Okay, Anthony isn't in there, but you do have Malasia and you do have uh, Martinez. So they've added a load of new cards there. A ton of new cards, and they still have, obviously, these ones. And then the Bruno, Bruno pack as well. Let's see what Bruno's like. Uh, we have Bruno, Ruben Diaz, Felix, Shaw, Rafinha, Carvalho, Pepe, Ronaldo, Silva, Leao, and Patricio. So it'd be interesting to see these cards as well, lads, because he's got 35 levels that he can go up, and he is a legend card. So Bruno's card is probably going to be very, very, very OP. Uh, Leao is obviously an A form as well. So yeah, we will get into a load of the reviews on them, lads. They have changed around the menu slightly. Um so before obviously it was in like the premium objectives or whatever um where is the mission okay we do have a couple of freebies there they do have the objectives now here's the free one but the actual packs are in here and there is also a load of new events as well so let's yeah there's a load of new stuff here we've got offline events we've got authentic events we've got online events user v user the football league is back so this one is user matches it is the afc champions league so you pick one of these teams and then you enter and there the rewards there pick one of these teams here and the rewards for winning that ultimate uh challenge are twenty thousand gp with 10 and 10 and a load of trainer points and then i presume that there is a lot of dream team stuff as well as you would imagine 
uh, let me just check this out because there is a different different type of uh, events for here. So we do have the friend match, which is create a match and your online match. Uh, that's probably the big one. We will do that today. We will be playing it. So anyone that wants it, come and get it. I'll be having an open invite to play that and do a couple of series with it. So in the events here, we do have a starter cup again, which is against the AI. We have an English league, we have a J league, we have a Champions League, AFC, and we've got worldwide clubs. And obviously with this one, you're going to get your chance deal. With the starter one, you're going to get a five-star nominating contract. With this one, you're going to get a three-star nominating contract. Another chance deal at the AFC Champions League pack. And with this one, your eFootball coins of 50 uh, e football coins so yeah just have a quick look at the friend match lads when you enter it is my first time seeing it as well create match room or search so you have to search by match room number so if we were to create one here you set your password um you set your password 2122 okay there we go doesn't really matter what it is um and then let's see what happens so i presume we have to send a link to whoever we're playing so match room settings so password okay so the player actually has to manually search for that you can't actually invite somebody as far as i can see let me see yeah okay so you can't actually manually okay so you can't actually manually add somebody you literally have to so when i have this match room created somebody has to search for my match room here and you enter in the match room number and then you search and then obviously you'll be able to enter the password so we will get into that in a minute but uh yeah that is it lads i will end it there just your weekly roundup of eFootball 2023's v2.1 update i'll get this video uploaded uploaded we'll get on a couple of games and we will get up a couple of game pack reviews as well and yeah that is it i'll talk to you in a bit lads peace